morning, everybody. Hello. We are here at Universal City in Hollywood. We are, we are. This is right outside Universal Studios. It doesn't cost a thing to come and walk through Universal City. Only the, the cost of parking, the, whatever the parking rate is. Yeah, whatever it is. And yeah. what's really cool is like today, Universal Studio was sold out of tickets. What's nice is they have a lot of stores in Universal City that are from Universal Studios. Right. So we're going to walk through. Then at the end, we're going to go to a restaurant that opened only like four months ago. Yeah, earlier this year, yeah, right? Yeah, and we're going to go try that one out. Yeah, so uh, we did shoot a video at Universal uh, Studios, so yeah. be sure to check that one out. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's go check it out. Let's go walk through. In Universal City, they have a Harry Potter store, Jurassic Park store, and just a regular Universal Studios store. And they even have uh, popcorn here, regular Billabong store and a lot of other ones. Let's go walk through. Uh, one of our favorite stores is coming up on the right. It is. This is a new eatery right here, Chick Chick Chicken. Looks uh, like they're uh, known to have some hot chicken. Yeah, uh, uh, sandwiches, yeah. maybe some chicken tenders. They do, and and hot Nashville hot and spicy chicken tenders. Then here's Francesca's, just a regular clothing store. Uh, and of course, the Dodger Yeah, store. that's one of our Favorite stores yes. right over here. And you know what? I believe you could even get game tickets there, right? You can purchase game tickets there, yep. Yeah, how crazy. Let's let's go. Another new eatery right here. Yeah. Vivo. This one used to be Wolfgang Puck. A pizzeria that I remember, Wolfgang oh, Hick Pizzeria. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah, and then they have a giant Sephora here now. It is. And of course your uh, Nintendo World store and Ben and Jerry's. And of course Hot Topic. Here's Sparky's Mini Donuts. Yep, and it's also a candy shop. They used to make the uh, the donuts right in the window, right? Yep, they used, used to, to, but then now they have, you have to go inside to see them make the donuts. Yeah, which I don't know if they're making any right now. No, but that's where they used to do it, right there. And that's the prices. But they're like a little cinnamon type yeah, of donuts, right? Yeah, they're really right? good. And it's the same ones as Trisha's Mini Donuts at Pure 39. In San so Francisco. In San Francisco. Yes, so that's right. Same, same donut company. It says right on the bottom. Yep, Sparkies. Yeah. We're in the center over here. This is where a lot of the sit-down dining options are. Upstairs is a Starbucks, but it used to be um, Carl Strauss, Strauss uh -huh. right? Auntie Ho Ho's is yeah, still here. Good Mexican food. We had, we actually ate there. It was very Abercrombie. good. Abercrombie. Abercrombie. <laughs> Abercrombie, the yes. store. Um, over here is uh, Bubba Gump. And then Grill, Brew, NBC Sports, and mm -hmm. of course behind you is Johnny Rockets and Jamba Juice. So there are some uh, sit-down options right here, but we're going to keep on going. Here is Wasabi, the sushi tempera place. Did and we eat here before? No, we didn't eat this one before. One and of these days, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's people open. are in there. Next and to it. And then there is a Dong Po, the taste of China. Yes, uh, we We've did eat there here. before. Yeah. And we are coming up to the restaurant that we're uh, going to eat We're going to try. At. Yep. <laughs> right behind me is the Toothsome Chocolate Factory. Emporium. Emporium. And, <laughs> and the Feast. Chocolate Emporium. And yeah. the Feast Kitchen. That's where we're going to go try out today. <laughs> there it is. Somebody's laughing at me. <laughs> because what he was saying is he's, before we were filming, he was re repeating it, repeating it. Twosome Chocolate Emporium, Twosome Chocolate Emporium. Then <laughs> we record him and he goes, this is the Twosome Chocolate Factory. <laughs> same, same. Uh, what a lame <laughs> While we're waiting for our table, we're gonna look around. It's a really cool little shop. This used to be an old hard rock cafe. Hey, look at all the kind of desserts yeah. they have here. Of all different kinds, even the Little, mostly all chocolate here, right? Yes. Little chocolates. Okay. This emporium is kind of cool. It gives you like the little steampunk type vibe, which I really like. When you look around, there's upstairs and downstairs dining. They have a separate shop that you can buy your little chocolates and they have a and you can buy your shakes and sundaes separately. 
And so you don't have to be seated here. There's separate tables over there as well. And when you just look around, it's just a very open vibe. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they brought us a bunch of menus. The first one is a bunch of wine and cocktails. But I think on this particular dinner, we're going to kind of go low octane. Yeah, because we, have we still have home. to drive home, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but these cocktails do look real good, though. Look at that. Wide variety of milkshakes here. More than black tap, but just as fancy as black tap here. I think I see a milkshake that I want to try. Already, huh? Yes. And then they have desserts and sundaes. Wow, look at that. Of course, everything is chocolate themed yes. over here. A lot of choices, babe. But we're going to go try out some of their food, too. Here are their appetizers. These are the appetizers, salads, and flatbreads, and they even have soup. And then on the back, they have their entrees. Wow, okay, so you have sandwiches and burgers, pasta, entrees, and brunch items. Oh. And of course, kids menu at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna look through this menu real quick and uh, see what we want. Yes. They brought us out our crazy looking shakes. I have the Espresso Buzz. So this one has, I'm looking at my menu. It's got coffee, ice cream, espresso, chocolate, espresso beans, whipped topping, and maraschino cherry. Look at that. And it has cookies. It does. It doesn't say about these mm -hmm. little cookies on the menu, cute, but though. they did it for presentation. Yeah. Let's try it out. Very dark chocolate coffee. This is very good. Wow. I know this is going to be very sweet, of course, but the actual shake itself really tastes like dark chocolate and coffee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very good. Who said you can't start with dessert first? So I have my shake. My shake is the pineapple upside down. Uh, it, I got, of course, my cheat sheet here. It's vegan pineapple upside down cake, brown sugar, caramel, pineapples, oat milk, whipped topping. So let's go ahead and try this out. You know what? It's not very sweet at all, which is really good. It tastes really light. To be a milkshake, it tastes very light. It's delicious. I like this one. This is the coffee and chocolate style chicken wings. Look at that. There's uh, three, there's six. There's six to an order. We have some drums and we have some flats. You know I mean? I'm gonna have to go, go for this flat over here. Let's try it out. Not too much chocolate. I'm getting more of a barbecue type of sauce to it. It is good. And it is crispy. Not too much chocolate and coffee though. Yeah, it just tastes like a, kind of like a mild barbecue sauce. But is it a good wing? It is a good wing. Outside, nice and crispy. The chicken itself is juicy. I like it. Let me know if you taste a little bit of uh, coffee or chocolate okay. in this chicken wing. I wasn't getting too much. Mm. Has a little sweetness to it. I don't taste them. I don't taste any of that. I don't taste the coffee or anything. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. It is a really good chicken wing. It tastes like it's a, maybe like a double fried chicken wing with no breading on it. This is chicken by itself with the sauce. I had to try the French onion soup. Erin says she likes this French onion soup here. This is the bowl. They have a bowl and a cup and the cup is really small. So we decided to get the bowl. I had it sit for a bit because usually French onion soups are really hot in the center. So let me go ahead and see if I can break this open here. Oh, look at that bread. Oh, it's still steaming. So good thing I had it sit for a while. So here's the bread underneath, like a little crostini. There's the cheese. As you can tell, it's still steaming hot. And that full cool, from that Gruyere cheese. It is still temperature hot. 
this French onion soup is delicious. The base is a little bit different. This French onion soup base, it's really rich tasting, good onion tasting. Let me see what it has in here. I'm gonna go on my cheat sheet here. I just said it's a Christine and Gouillard cheese, but this base of this French onion soup. I don't think it's tomato. It has a really good base to it though. Wow, this is a hearty French onion soup. Of course, everybody likes the little crispy bits that are around the bowl. Delicious. My entree, I got the brisket and wild mushroom meatloaf. Little crispy onions on top. I'm a fan of meatloaf. I have to give it a try. I was really eyeballing that flat iron steak. But then when I saw the meatloaf, I'm like, hey, let's give it a try. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's two pieces. Yes, yeah, two pieces on top of the uh, Yukon Gold mashed potatoes. So it is a little bit more thicker because maybe it's because it's, it's a brisket. There we go right here. Brisket meatloaf. This meatloaf is very meaty. Maybe because it's made with brisket. It does have some type of red wine reduction on it. Let me try these uh, mashed potatoes. Potatoes are really good. They have little clumps of potatoes, so I know they're made in-house. And they put little corn as well, kind of scattered throughout. But the meatloaf is good. I think I prefer a regular standard meatloaf. This is a little bit definitely on the meaty side. So it does have that brisket type of texture to it. It is a good taste though, but you have to like the red wine reduction. Other than that, this is pretty good. You got two good pieces of meatloaf with the mashed potatoes and the gravy. So yep, there you go, meatloaf. So I gotta try out this uh, this meatloaf. Got my little sauce on there, cut out my piece. This is a hearty meatloaf. It does taste very meaty because I don't, I don't think it has any fillers. I have some meatloaf, sometimes they have an oatmeal or some sort of filler in it. And this is, a, it tastes like it's pure meat. This is actually really good. I really like this one too. This is the braised short rib with natural carrots and mashed potatoes, a cocoa gremolata. Go ahead and try this mash first. Mm. That mashed potato is very creamy. I really like that. And let me see this braised short rib. Good pieces right here. A great, great taste. It is tender. This is really stunning. I didn't know what to expect because of a braised short rib. And especially with a cocoa gremolata, it has that little bit of punch into the sauce. And it's this fork tender. Mix it up with that carrot. This dish is a winner. I would get the braised short rib. It is delicious, it doesn't need any more seasoning. The sauce in here is excellent. The short rib is tender and this mashed potato is nice and it's buttery and it has a little bit of chunk because it is a you can tell house made mashed potato mm. absolutely delicious i'm a fan of shore rib as well here's a nice mixture of a little bit of fat and meat on it this one should be a really good bite it is this short rib is delicious. I like this one better than my meatloaf. He's not mm -hmm. up there. Very really robust in flavor and in taste. Yeah. You're right, even though it's the same mashed potato, it has a different taste to it, a different potato vibe. This is delicious. I would definitely recommend the short rib over here. Tender. 
delicious, nice and juicy. Everything is executed perfectly on this dish. It is very down home comfort food. We're all done with our mains. We're gonna take a lot of it home, but we're gonna jump right into our dessert, which is the milkshakes that we got. And these little things, I already ate one, but these are like little biscottis. Uh, white chocolate on top and it's very crispy. These are really good. You know that this, they're not stale. They're not just sitting around for shake decorations. These are nice and fresh. And what I like about it is we took several minutes to eat our dinner and shoot a video, but it has no melt at all. So this is definitely frosting on here. It is really holding up to the test of time, <laughs> to dinner it time. Is. These are good. This is the vegan upside down cake right here. I'm gonna put this in this kind of like whipped cream, which is interesting as this is an oat milk whipped cream. So the whipped cream is a little bit sweet. Kind of reminds me. It's thick, but I kind of taste like a, a, a Cool Whip, which is delicious. You hadn't tried this cake out. Mm. That is a good pineapple upside down cake. It's not. It's a sweet, but not too sweet, which is delicious. And then you go ahead and wash it down with this dessert all in one. What I like about this shake. It's not extremely sweet at all. It is, which sounds weird, again, it is a very light shake, light tasting shake. Wow, and if you're not a big ice cream type person, I recommend this one, that pineapple upside down one. It is good. That is a wrap from Universal Studios City Walk. Yes, that was a lot of fun. Now, the stores that are also behind Two Stem is a Margaritaville is here. There's a Voodoo Donut that's here. There's a yeah. Menchie's Frozen Yogurt. There's a Cinnabon. There's a, a, a Buca de Beppo back here. There's a lot of other stuff. Yes, yeah, so right upstairs behind. they have a big food court, including they Pink's do. Hot Dog. Yeah, that Pink's Hot Dog up yeah. there. There's a KFC, a Taco Bell. A lot of food stuff so oh, yeah. if you can't find anything down here just definitely go upstairs and you can find more food stuff there yes so a uh, little wrap up of toothsum yes I, I i liked it it was good yeah. food In i fact, thought your shore rib was my favorite i liked yeah. it better than the meatloaf like i mentioned yes i like the meatloaf though it had a really good yeah. taste there's nothing wrong with the meatloaf but no. i like yours better yes yes yeah. the french onion soup was good um i'm not used to that it's a little tomato base but it was a good tasting one not one of my favorites but it was a good french onion soup yeah and mm -hmm. same with the chain wings i liked them it was good In nicely fact, fried yeah we have some leftover chicken wings yeah so we're <laughs> taking everything tonight. home Yes. We're here in our bag. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's going to wrap it up? Yes. Uh, it was a full day here. It if was. You, you know, like we mentioned, we shot another video at Inside Universal Studios. So be sure to check that one yes. out. Yes. And I would like to thank everyone for saying hi to us in Universal Studios that's when right. you guys saw us. Yep. Taking pictures and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yep. Thank you so much for saying hi, everyone. And over here in City Walk, thank you so much for saying hi. Yeah. And again, you know, if you see us around, even if we're yeah. eating or shooting, just come up and say, hey. Oh, totally. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? They're pretty nice. I yeah. guess. Yeah. yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. We're done. Well, until our next adventure. Catch you guys on the next one.